This curve breaks all the rules. No formula for its area. Impossible to calculate. Unless you use this one insane trick. Watch. We split it into four ugly rectangles. They're terrible. They don't even fit. But when we push this to infinity, everything changes. Here's the trick. We write down the exact formula for what we just saw. This adds up all the rectangle areas. Width times height for each one. Our curve is x squared. Plug it in. Now we have k squared over n squared times 1 over n. Combine these. n cubed on the bottom. Factor out 1 over n cubed. Now we need this sum. This formula has been known for centuries. It sums all the squares. Plug it in. This looks like a mess, but watch this. What if we make and go to infinity? Infinite rectangles, infinitely thin. As n goes to infinity, this becomes... When n is huge, these minus ones don't matter. Just n, n, and 2n. n times n times 2n. That's 2n cubed. 2n cubed over 6n cubed. The n cubed cancels. 2 over 6, 1 third. But wait, did we really just predict the exact answer using infinity? Let me show you why this is insane. Five rectangles, 10, 20, 50, 100, 200. Watch it become perfect. Perfect fill. Exactly one third. We predicted it with infinity. This is calculus. Taking infinity things, infinitely small, to get one perfect answer. That's the power of limits. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this problem, give it a like and subscribe for more. See you next time.